First, let me begin by praising the courage of the survivors of military sexual assault, both women and men, for coming forward and putting a spotlight on this issue. In particular, I want to commend the dedication of Jennifer Norris and Ruth Moore, two Mainers who have made it their mission to change a broken system that does not put victims first. I would also like to commend Senator Gillibrand for her untiring leadership on this issue and for Senator McCaskill for her extraordinary leadership. More than 10 years ago, when I was a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, I brought up the issue of military sexual assault. And I will never forget the response of General George Casey to my comments. He was completely dismissive, said it really wasn't much of a problem. Even though these were serious crimes, that traumatize survivors and erode the trust and discipline fundamental to every military unit. Now, things have improved over the years, and steps have been taken to improve the care that is provided to the survivors of sub such reprehensible crimes and to help ensure appropriate punishment for the perpetrators. We've spearheaded many changes that Senator Gillibrand has mentioned that were included in the defense authorization bill last year. But despite these important steps, the work of translating the military stated policy of zero tolerance into reality remains unfinished business, as we will hear from the Colonel today. We are told repeatedly that we should just wait a few more months for a few more studies or even a few more years to see if the recently enacted provisions have made the difference. I strongly disagree. How many more victims are required to suffer before we take the action outlined in Senator Gillibrand bill, which I am proud to co-sponsor? How many lives must be ruined before we act? Rather than waiting for the results of yet more studies, we must continue per to pursue reforms to increase the confidence of survivors, to strengthen prevention efforts now, and to ensure that justice will be done. Today, fostering a culture of zero tolerance so that the number of assaults is greatly diminished remains a goal and not the reality. Ensuring that survivors do not think twice about reporting an assault for fear of retaliation or damage to their careers is still not fully a part of military culture. And that must change.